Namaste. Yesterday I did this video about following your own heart and uh, again naturally there would be many other opinions and many other perspectives on the issue and I respect all of them but uh, often the older generation parents or grandparents and teachers they view the younger generations as kids who are immature and who lack the experience of life and that is why they need guidance now my point is that what you see is the physical body and what you don't see or don't understand is that you never know how old the soul is I have met 20 years old 18 years old 15 years old kids who show tremendous maturity and understanding of life than people who might be 70 years old or 80 years old. You never know how old the soul is because a soul's journey is from life to life to life. It's lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes. So number one point is the older generation needs to trust the younger generation that even if the physical body is young that doesn't mean that the mind is immature or the brain is immature they might have their own understanding of life which may be deeper than the parents and always if you see the kids are always one step upgraded than the parents always no matter what the family no matter where they live fam it's village or city or foreign or indian or wherever the kids is one step one level upgraded version of their parents why because it's nature's law of evolution each generation is more evolved than the previous generation so not comparing one family generation to another family generation who live somewhere else or ha are have different facilities not that but in the same family if you compare the generations then the younger generation is always more mature more intelligent more capable more talented than their previous generations the only thing that would be lacking is the physical capacity the physical capacity decreases because the more the brain develops the more the physical capacity will degenerate and that's a natural process the smarter you get naturally you want to want to do physical labor do you understand so that's nature's way of you know doing things physically they will become more softer more supple from one perspective it might seem that they are weaker physically but their brains would be they would be more smart they would be more mature so one thing we have to trust the younger generation and next thing is and if you say well they fall in love and then they cry and they they show such immaturity well even those em emotional setbacks it is an experience for them and they have to go through that experience for their own learning so whatever way they falter if it's relationships or career or wherever wherever they falter wherever they fall wherever they are crying or whatever is happening even those experiences are needed even a storm is needed for a tree to have strong roots so let them falter but they will falter because of their own choices which is needed for their own maturity if you if the older generations impose something on them and then the younger generation is unsuccessful or is depressed or sad or unsatisfied due to it then they will think why the hell did i hear others why didn't i do what i wanted to do why did i hear what the elders wanted me to do so 
डोंट इम्पोज इन एनी वे डोंट थिंक दे नीड योर गाइडेंस दे आर ऑलरेडी गाइडेड एवरी ह्यूमन बींग हैज इट्स ओन गाइडेंस सिस्टम गाइडिंग देम फ्रॉम इन साइड एंड इवन इफ दे आर नॉट लिसनिंग टू इट और लिसनिंग टू इट वेदर दे आर इंटुएटिव एनफ और नॉट इंटुएटिव एनफ वॉट एवर इट बी इवन इफ दे हैव टू फॉल्टर अ हंड्रेड टाइम्स लेट देम फॉल्टर अ हंड्रेड टाइम्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डेट दिज यू नो ग्रेट साइंटिस्ट uh this edison we have always read always read that uh, he failed uh, uh, what a hundred times or something before he made the bulb and uh, this uh, so many writers great writers their writings were denied to be published by publishers so many times even after having failed so many times they still kept trying and ultimately they succeeded so even the failures are needed to rectify to better to upgrade themselves to gain more maturity but imposing somebody else's view somebody else's guidance on them that is not the natural process that is not the right process and uh, if uh, some says that well they are not intuitive enough well even if they are not intuitive they will gain gain the intuition by faltering a hundred times let them falter but let them falter by their own decisions by their own choices that is god's plan you see we think failure as failure we think a setback as a setback but every experience is a learning experience failure is a greater teacher than success setbacks and struggles are a greater teacher than to be able to proceed smoothly so it's all needed it's all part of life if you are going to learn cycling you will fall a hundred times that's okay ultimately you will learn how to cycle so follow your own heart is the ultimate mantra even the rishis said the same thing even the modern saints say the same thing everybody said the same thing and there is no second opinion to that each individual person has to follow their own inner voice that is ultimate there is no doubt about it no second thoughts about it if you are not doing it if you don't have the courage to do it well keep on repenting for the rest of the life what can i say because you will keep repenting for the rest of your life if you are not hearing your inner voice and the life purpose the your coming taking birth having this physical experience on this dimension the whole opportunity is wasted if you didn't hear your inner voice so and that is the also the best way to evolve further if you aren't hearing your inner voice that means also that your evolution is also hampered so well that's that namaste jai ma jai ma